Exposing the truth of traveling at light speed. Think you can handle the velocity? Let's find out. Imagine hitting the accelerator and soaring to a speed of 186,000 miles per second. Sounds like an epic sci-fi adventure, right? But here's the catch. Reaching that blinding speed is more than a little tricky. First off, humans can't feel speed itself, just changes in speed, like when you take off in an airplane. But the real kicker isn't the speed, it's getting there. Accelerating to light speed too quickly could turn you into what scientists call a human pancake due to the intense forces over 6,000 times the force of gravity. Even if we took it slow, say at 2G, that's twice the force of gravity, you'd still need over 5 months to safely reach light speed. At 1G, it would take over 11 months. And that's assuming you could somehow ignore the laws of physics that say you can't reach light speed if you have mass, which we do. So while we can dream of zipping through the stars, for now, we'll have to leave the high-speed space travel to subatomic particles in our giant accelerators. They can reach over 99.9% .9 the speed of light. As for us, we're just not built for that kind of travel. But hey, in the grand scheme of the universe, moving at close to light speed might not be as far-fetched as it sounds. After all, in the vast expanses of space, everything is relative, just like Einstein said.